Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you five Adobe After Effects plugins that you can use that will help improve your videos. I decided to choose some plugins that everybody can use. A lot of plugins I see nowadays are for animators that use After Effects. So the five I'm going to show you today can be used in just your everyday YouTube videos or your music videos or your short films. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And with that being said, let's get straight into it. So before I get started, everything's going to be in the description. And if you guys want me to make a video on the best paid and free After Effects plugins, make sure to comment below so I know. At number one, we have AE Juice. AE Juice is actually the sponsor of this video, but I've been using it way before they ever contacted me. I've seen a lot of creators use their paid plugin, uh, Liquid Elements, and I've actually used it myself. But until they approached me, I actually didn't know that they had free plugins. If you check the description right now, they actually have a bunch of them. They have a starter pack with over 100 different video assets that you can use. And these include transitions and different elements. They have free sound effects as well, which is just as important as the visual assets. They also have more niche plugins. So one that I find really cool is they have a 2.5D devices collection, which are basically video mockups. So you can choose from like different phones that you can include in your video. So compared to the other plugins I'm gonna show you today, this definitely has the most variety and the one I can recommend most for beginners. Once again, I'm gonna link their stuff in the description as well as their YouTube channel if you wanna check that out. The next three plugins I'm gonna show you are by Video Copilot. I'm gonna start with the first one and I think the most popular one, which is called Saber. So Saber allows you to create cool lighting effects. So typically I use this for text. I made a tutorial on how to sort of make like lightning logos and lightning text. So if you wanna create cool text effects and logo effects, there are a bunch of presets you can choose from. It doesn't have to be lightning, it could be fire, it could be neon. It's a very versatile plugin for logos and text and that sort of stuff. You can also create lightsabers. That's what most people think the plugin's for, but uh, you can use it for a lot more than that. The third plugin is much more niche by Video Copilot as well. This one is for creating realistic looking worlds. Like, like if you wanna create a planet, but you don't wanna use Cinema 4D, this is a very, very good plugin. I don't know when you would use this, but if you've ever wondered how people make it, typically people use Cinema 4D, which is a paid software that's very, very expensive. And I just discovered this plugin recently while doing research for this video. It's actually insane how you can create planets. So if you're creating even a music video or like some sci-fi type of video, I would definitely recommend this. You don't have to use any other program besides After Effects, which is mind blowing to me. The fourth plugin is also by Video Copilot. It's called FX Console. So when I heard of this, um, I actually didn't think it would be useful. I know a lot of people use this, um, especially animators. Basically, it allows you to search up effects and use effects without actually moving your mouse. If you press shift space on your keyboard, I think it's command space on Mac. I could be wrong. You can just type in any effect you want and it applies it to the clip that you selected. It's essentially a more advanced search bar for like the effects and presets. This preset is meant to just speed up your workflow. There's different presets and shortcuts you can use with this plugin. So I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for a way to speed up your workflow, essentially. The last effect I'm gonna show you today is called text border. Essentially, it makes a border for your text. And this might seem like very, very basic stuff, but usually if you want like some sort of animated text, you would have to do it yourself in After Effects or you'd have to download a template. In this case, it does it for you. It's a plugin, it's very, very good. I use this for my YouTube video sometimes or when I'm making videos for other people. So yeah, that's about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Everything will be in the description. And let me know what free plugins you use. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.